This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to build your online presence. Hi, I'm Kay Choi. Welcome to my channel. It's been a while since I just sat down and talked to the camera, so that's what I'm going to do today. I'm also going to take off my jacket because I feel like it is gonna make noise that my mic will pick up. I'm in the car parked uh, because I have to run some errands and I figured this was a nice quiet place for me to film. Um, I am home in LA visiting um, and staying with my family so um, this just seemed like an easy filming spot for me. Also this is just gonna be a very chill video so if you want to grab a snack or a drink or put this on while you're doing the dishes, I like to watch YouTube while I'm doing dishes or other chores, uh, feel free to do that. The main topic for this video is work-life balance and and more specifically how I balance YouTube with work, with my social life, and the podcast that I do with my friends. I get asked about how I do all of that um, all the time, so I thought I would just chat a bit about it. This video is not going to be like a how-to with good advice on how to balance these things because you'll find uh, very soon that I don't really have a good method but just wanted to share my thoughts and musings on the topic. Again, first of all, I don't really have a set or organized way of doing things, uh, which is probably not what you want to hear, um, and it is really case by case. Taking my YouTube channel, for example, I wish I had a set schedule of filming and editing, like I film every Thursday and then edit every Saturday and upload every Tuesday or whatever it would be. But because I do such lifestyle-based content, and by that I mean I do day in my life as a consultant or week in my life as a consultant or other topics that just happen to feel organic. It means I need to plan out like maximum one month in advance, but usually it's like a week by week basis. And I know that I could get much more organized about it, but I admit that these days I've just been a little bit uninspired and I still really like making vlog content. So I want to keep doing that, uh, but it just can get tiring uh, when I'm just working and sitting at my laptop and on calls. And I don't know how many you know, times I can make a video about calls that I have all day. I try to insert, you know, different takeaways or insights or try to show a variety of types of meetings and things like that, which is why, again, I really have to look at my calendar for the day or the week with work and determine what kind of vlog content I can make out of that. Not to mention, I of course have to think about my full-time job and also my social life. So just to reiterate, what works well for me is planning things maybe one or two weeks in advance. And especially when it comes to my consultant vlog content, I just look ahead at if I have any business trips coming up, I actually am probably traveling out of the country next month uh, for work, so I'll definitely be vlogging that. So when there's things like that, I can plan in advance of what I'm going to be filming during those trips or those work days, and then when I can realistically edit and upload. And I also just try to give myself grace because I know there's no way I'm going to be on top of everything all the time. And if I'm going to have to prioritize YouTube or my job, then I, of course, I'm going to prioritize my job. So I just try not to be, be too hard on myself uh, if I'm not able to keep up with the you know, the cadence that I want on my YouTube channel. Hopefully this isn't just coming off as like an excuse of why I haven't been posting weekly like I used to, um, but I really am uh, trying to find the right balance uh, just so that I can remain healthy and still enjoy making content. Camera stopped recording for a second, so not sure if the angle um, is different or anything. I am very lucky because my job is super flexible. As I mentioned, I'm home visiting my family in LA, so I've been working from here for the past few weeks, and it's nice that I have a job that allows me to do that uh, within reason. I've got some meetings in New York um, next week, so I definitely um, need to be back for those. And even though it's pretty brutal having to wake up uh, for 5 a.m. calls um, because I'm working on East Coast hours, I at least get the afternoon to do things like run errands uh, like I'm out doing right now um, or spend time with family. So I know not everybody can have a job that is flexible in that way, but that's just another way that I've been able to balance things like YouTube and spending time with family and friends and all of that. And I really do try to apply that. I try to apply that flexibility when I'm in New York too. So if I've got you know, some early morning 
work that I need to get done. Um, maybe I'll step out in the afternoon to go to the gym. Or if I had a flight that came in really late uh, the night before from a client meeting, then maybe I'll start work a little later the next day. And all of this, of course, is within reason. It's also depending on all of my projects and where they're at and if my project partners need to meet with me. There are definitely busier seasons, so there are times where I can't have that flexibility, but I do my best to set my boundaries. So that's another tip, I guess. I know I'm not really sharing a lot of concrete tips or anything in this video, but that's something that I do to help with that work-life balance. And of course, there are going to be different cultures and expectations at different companies. I think, again, I'm very lucky that where I work, uh, individual boundaries and preferences and working styles are taken into account. As long as you, of course, are being a team player and are getting the work done and doing your work well. And then the third, or I don't know what number of, you know, thought I'm on, but another thing I was thinking about was how creating content becomes so much more fun and enjoyable when you have friends who are doing it as well. And I think it could look like two things, and it could be an either or or both, uh, but first just knowing other people who create content and have that interest it's just great to have someone who understands what you do and what you enjoy and you of course build your network um, I have found it helpful because I'll talk with other creators about um, our struggles or our ideas and plans for our channel and also things like working with brands and how to navigate that because all of this is still fairly new relative to other ways of earning money so it's good to just have that network of other people who have that interest and then the other way this could come to life is actually creating content with your friends and doing something together so for example I mentioned I have a podcast so I work on that podcast with my friends Christine and Megan they also have their own um, Instagrams and blogs that they work on so they're individually creating content as well but then the three of us create content um, with our podcast the reality is that when you are doing something like content creation or another side hustle on top of your full-time job um, you're gonna have to give up something. You're gonna have to give up your social life or some sleep or something else. But the fun thing about having one of these projects and you know creating content with friends is that it feels like you're hanging out with your friends as well. So you got a bit of that social life, but you're also working on this passion project or this side project that um, you're really enjoying. I love doing our podcast because when we record, it's just like I'm catching up with my friends and then we happen to be able to pour some creative energy into this project together. And we've invested, you know, our own time and money into this podcast with our recording platform and our website. And we even did a photo shoot recently with some really, really nice photos that um, we're, you know, slowly sprinkling onto the website and our Instagram and all of that. And speaking of our website, I guess this is a good time to tell you about this video sponsor, which is Squarespace. You may know that I've been working with Squarespace for a while. And if you don't know what Squarespace is, they are an all-in-one website building platform where you can build your presence online. I say this all the time, but I love using Squarespace because it's so easy. And every website I make with Squarespace turns out great uh, with very minimal effort. They have an amazing selection of templates that you can use whether you've got a blog or portfolio online store podcast and even the starting point is great but then from there you can customize the templates to match your own branding as well and you not only can host your website and domain on Squarespace but you can also have access to all of their different tools there's email marketing social media integration analytics so you can understand and connect to your audience better and you can even share exclusive content through videos and posts as I mentioned we've been doing a little bit of rebranding with our Tom a podcast website so we did a photo shoot and have started putting some of those and integrating those into the website and again so easy and looks great definitely go check out our website Tom Shop podcast so you can see how beautiful it is but also check out our podcast because it is our baby and we love it the reason I've been working with Squarespace for so long is because I really do think it's the best way to build a website so if you are interested in trying out Squarespace then go to squarespace.com slash kchoi for a free trial and then when you're ready you can use my code kchoi for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So the moral of the story is that I don't have it all figured out when it comes to balancing YouTube and friends and work and everything else, but I do know what I enjoy and I know what gives me emotional energy 
even though it might drain me physically. So that's where I think the main tension lies. I get a lot of emotional satisfaction from making videos and podcast episodes, but sometimes it can be physically taxing to sit there and edit or film or write and things like that. So I need to figure out how I can keep doing these things that do bring me joy and energy while also taking care of my body that allows me to do these things. So as I said, no conclusions on this topic, but I just wanted to share a few of those thoughts that I've been having because I get asked so often how I do it all and how I manage YouTube and work. And so I was just thinking, how do I do it? Um, planning in short bursts and doing things with friends or having friends who also create content or are passionate about this kind of stuff. Giving myself grace because I know I'm not gonna be perfectly on top of it all the time. And doing my best to take care of myself physically and mentally as well um, so that I can keep finding joy in creating content and working too so I can like do a good job at my actual full-time job. So that is the video. I hope that this was mildly interesting at the very least um, and would love to know your thoughts as well on this topic of work-life balance and balancing side hustles with your full-time job. I feel like it's becoming more and more common so I think that you all will have some good insights. Let me know what videos you want to see on this channel because I can always use more inspiration. Leave those in the comments um, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!